But first at 5.30, heartbreaking stories of businesses that reopened their doors after the pandemic lockdowns, but then did not survive. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. I'm Alan Martin. Some businesses still struggling are women and minority owned. KPI X5's Len Ramirez live in San Jose with the results of an eye-opening business survey. Len? That's right, this survey was done by Facebook. It surveyed all of the uh, small businesses around the world that use its platform, and it found that just like the pandemic itself, Latino-owned businesses continue to be some of the hardest hit and the slowest to recover. Turns out that we lost one of our um, businesses on this street. Connie Alvarez can count several mostly Latino-owned small businesses that have closed on her block since the pandemic began. The latest is a bridal shop two doors down. She made it all through the pandemic, and now that we open since June 15, she didn't make it a month. Alvarez owns Plaza Jewelers, a landmark business started by her father decades ago and serves on the Alam Rock Santa Clara Street Small Business Association, which just did a survey of its own members. We're noticing that a third of the businesses that were around, they're no longer around. Facebook has also been surveying small businesses on a global and national scale. Its global state of small business report found 83% of all U.S. small businesses still have challenges paying the bills and 24% of Latino-led businesses closed for good. That's seven points higher than other groups. There's also some positive findings for a small minority of businesses. 28% increased sales over the same period last year. We have had new employees slowly trickle in. One restaurant that's on the rebound is Sushi Confidential, but it's still being hampered from a full recovery by the ongoing shortage of workers. We're closing at 9 p.m. every night. We want to stay open till midnight, just like we were pre-pandemic, but we can't stay open any later just because we don't have enough employees to fill uh, those times. The Facebook report also backed up what Connie Alvarez has been seeing with her members, an increasing number running their businesses using online tools out of their homes. They have the capability and right now at this point they rather save on the rent and be working from home, continuing their businesses from home. So Lynn, any idea why Latino owned businesses are having the slowest recovery that you pointed out? You know, it isn't for lack of effort because we're talking about some of the hardest working folks around, but it probably, and a lot of uh, people in the business world think that it does have to do with the fact that the pandemic uh, did so much damage in these communities. And these are small businesses that cater to these communities where there was a lot of death, a lot of uh, people hospitalized, and still a lot of fear. And so uh, shopping habits may have changed. People may have moved out of the area. They just haven't recovered as quickly enough. Uh, Facebook also chimed in saying that uh, Latino-owned businesses may be slower to adapt to some of the uh, newer technologies that other businesses are adopting to stay afloat during this time. Yeah, community was hard hit, no doubt. All right, Len.